Hey YouTube, today we're going to be doing a comparison between two Micro 9 carry 9mm pistols. And before we go any further, I'm going to show you that neither one of these pistols have anything in them and any of that deadly 9mm ammo, there is none in either one of these pistols. We are clear to make this video. So what we have here is everybody's favorite here. We got a Glock 43X chambered in 9mm and this is a fan favorite for all the people out there who love 9mm and love to carry 9mm. This is one of their favorite ones and what this is is Glock came out with a single stacked for Glock 43 many years ago and the grip was only about this long it only held six rounds so what it is they extended this this um, grip here and they made a single stack 10 round carry guns you're essentially carrying around 10 plus one of nine millimeter and everybody knows how much I love nine millimeters so I figured I'd do this video <laughs> So it's it's a Gen 5 gun, so it has the front serrations on it, it has the single pin, it holds the trigger group in, it has the Gen 5 texturing, and it does not have finger groups on it. But other than that, it's a no frills Glock. It looks like every other Glock comes with the same crappy plastic sights on it that you get from Glock, and you pay Glock price for it. And people love that. I don't know why. These are like Apple iPhones. It doesn't matter what they do, you're not going to tell Glock people that there's anything wrong with this or they will bash you on YouTube like I get bashed every single day. But just want to show you this Glock 43X and I'm going to compare it to this next one here. This is an FN Reflex. This is a rather new acquisition here and this gun has only been out a few months and <laughs> This, this gun here will absolutely blow that one out of the water. So before I go into all the stats on them or anything, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side of it next to a Glock 43X. I want you to see that it's virtually the same exact size. If you look at the top slides, it's the same size. The clock's a little bit longer, but that doesn't matter, folks. What matters here is the length of this grip when you're concealing something you put it inside of a holster this is the part that prints and what you call printing is whether it shows through the clothes or not and when you live in a state like i live in you have to have you have to carry a firearm concealed there is no open carry in the state that i live in so look at these side by side they're almost identical in size now we're going to do a trigger comparison here. We're going to pull the magazines out of this gun. And this one's actually got an extended magazine in it, folks. And I'm going to show you the big difference. The number one is the Glock holds 10 rounds of 9mm. The FN, with this magazine in it, holds 15 rounds. So that is an absolute huge difference. I mean, a huge difference. It holds five more rounds with the same exact size magazine in it. So you're essentially getting 15 rounds, 15 plus one, you're getting around 16 rounds of nine millimeter in this little package. Now what it also comes with is it has a flush mount magazine and this one I have the pinky extension on, but you, it also has a flat flush plate, but if you put the pinky extension on it, you get three fingers on this gun. And that's important to a lot of people to have three fingers on a gun even though it's all psychological, these two fingers here are your strong fingers. And if you take this pinky extension off, you can only get two fingers on it. But with this pinky extension, that comes from the factory with that. You can get a full grip on this thing. And this one here holds, that's right, 11 rounds. It still holds more than the Glock 43X. And with this magazine in it, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison again with the mighty Glock 43X. It absolutely is a lot smaller. <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> it's way smaller. So all these people that say that this Glock 43X is so great, they need to take a look at this because this thing, you can get a full grip on it. It's the same size slide. It's lighter. If you look at the slide side by side, it's actually a little bit smaller 
than the 43X, but we're just going to call it for argument's sake, the same size, the same thickness. It's a lot shorter. You would carry it around in the ideal world. You would carry it around with this short magazine in it, and you would use this backup magazine as the as the backup one. Or if you wanted to carry it with this one in it because you're a Glock 43X person and you think this is the greatest size in the world, well, you put this extended magazine in, you got the same size gun as a Glock 43X when you're holding 15 plus 1 instead of 10 plus 1. Now we're going to move into the next comparison here, folks. This gun is a hammer fired gun, it's got a concealed internal hammer in it. The Glock is a striker fired gun. It's the same they have been for years. So what we're going to do is we're going to cock both of these guns here, take the magazines out of them, and I'm going to show you. This is a bone stock 43X, and if you look at this thing, you see the sponginess in the trigger? Same Glock trigger, and eventually a little bit of creep, and then it goes off. And the reset on it is actually pretty good. And there you go run right into a wall and then it goes off. The FN is on a whole different level, folks. I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing. So this trigger here is, it's got this little safety mechanism on it and there's no take up. There's the wall right there and it just breaks. <laughs> it's just like a 1911 trigger. And the reset on it is right there. There's no take up and it just goes off. This thing has like a 1911 trigger and as I've said many times, they don't make bad 1911 triggers and the reason that a 1911 trigger is so good is it is a hammer fired gun. It is old school hammer fired and that's what this is. So when you break this thing down, you take it and you lock the slide back, you lift this takedown lever up, you slide the um, slide off it looks just like a Glock right here just like any other polymer frame gun but the difference being here is right here pull the trigger hold down on this and it's hammer fired so it's got an internal hammer it kind of looks like a little AR hammer on it it's kind of neat so anyway and then the Glock it looks just like a Glock I'm not gonna take that down and we've seen that a million times but you just slide this slide back on just like you would any other polymer frame gun. Let me see if I can do this on camera. Lock it back with the slide lock. Pull the takedown lever and function test it. And there you go, folks. You're back in business. This is an absolute masterpiece the FN came out with. Now, these Micro 9s, they have been really hitting the world hard here lately and people love them and I understand it people like small things that carry nine millimeters and this thing here has been the fan favorite for a little while now this little Glock 43X but there's a lot better options out there folks and I'm not hating on Glocks or anything but Sig Sauer started the party with a little P365 that's about this size, and then I think everybody makes one now. I think the Hellcat followed that, made by Springfield Armory. I think Ruger makes one, a Max 9. I think Taurus actually came out with one, and FN, I think, perfected it because they made this thing, the fit and finish on this thing is absolutely amazing. They have a lot better finish on them than, like, the Glocks do. It's a well better... Well, a lot better built firearm but just the fit and finish looks so much better it's got a way better trigger on it the texturing's better on it it's just this is an absolute masterpiece of a firearm and fn does what fn does they made a really good firearm and this and this caliber of a firearm the little micro nine class but anyway folks i want to show you a little side by side of this glock 43x and this FN Reflex 9mm. <clears throat> this one's only been out a few months and I think it's going to do really well. But anyway, folks, if you have any questions on either one of these weapons, feel free to ask. I'm not an expert on either one of them. I'm just giving you my honest opinion on them. And thank you very much for watching my video today. And you folks have a great day.